everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record on Oculus Quest. Now this works for one and two. Okay, so if you're going to want to record on the Oculus Quest, you're going to need a few things. First thing is a laptop or a computer. It doesn't have to be a strong computer. I use a MacBook that's pretty old. The specs will be on screen right now, so you can see like the kind of computer I use for editing and stuff. It just has to be able to download stuff from the internet, run application. Then you're going to need a USB Type-C cable that will be able to transfer data. Now, the one I use will be in the description down below if you want to try it. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's on screen right now. That's the one I use. It's a really good cable, works perfectly fine for what I want. The next thing you're going to need is going to be a way to record your audio. Now, the way I do it is I use my iPhone connected to a mic, um, the headset that I have. I use that headset connected to my iPhone, use the app Voice Memos, and record separately. Now, you can use um, different kind of things. You can record using different methods as long as it records your voice while you're playing and yeah if you have all those things you're good to go so first you're going to want to download SideQuest. now SideQuest is an application on your computer i do believe there is a way to get it on android phones but if you want to do that i don't actually know how now it would take an entire video to tell you how to download SideQuest, as it is a big process but it shouldn't be too difficult and there is a link in the description to a video that helps a lot um, about how to download SideQuest and it's a very quick tutorial and you can do it really fast. Now that you've set up everything you need for SideQuest, you can now plug in your headset into the computer and start using full screen. How you're going to want to do this is once it's plugged in and you see the green dot in the top left of the application, so it says basically that you are connected, you want to open the settings, scroll down a bit until you see this, and you want to press 1080 which will change your uh, recording to 1080 full screen. Now, as you can see, it changes this to this. And I know these are different games, but you can obviously tell there's a big difference and it's very vital if you want to make videos. Now, my friend, Mr. Pun, he doesn't do this. His videos are still really great, but this is just my method and I prefer this way. Now to record, all you have to do is press the Oculus button on your controller, and then you're going to want to press the share button, which is going to allow you to record video, take photo, and cast, you know, all those things. You want to record the video, and it will be full screen the entire time. Now do keep in mind though, when you do reset your headset or turn it off, you're going to have to go through this method again, because it's going to reset all the settings. So when you turn off your headset, turn it back on, plug it into your computer, and run these commands again, press the 1080, make it full screen, because you're gonna have to do that every time you record on the Quest. Now, if you have the audio, the way you record audio, mine is just using my headset connected to my phone. Um, you can either put it in your pocket if you use that method, or you could just put it off to the side if the cable is long enough on your headset. But after that, since I have a MacBook, I airdrop the voice memo to my Mac, but if you can't do that, just plug your phone into the, your computer and it should work pretty great. Now, once you've gotten your audio and your video, you're going to want to transfer it to a computer. Now, the way I do this, since I have a Mac, you can't just transfer the video from the headset straight to your computer, so you're going to have to download Android File Transporter. The download link will be in the description if you want to get that, but if you have a Windows 10 machine, you should be able to just plug it right into your computer and you won't have to do that method. Now for the computer to be able to notice that you have a headset plugged in, you're going to have to have SideQuest open. So SideQuest, it's needed for this entire setup, so if you, again, if you don't know how, there will be links in the description on how to download it. Now, in your editing software, you're going to want to sync everything up. Now what I do notice sometimes is when I record on my Quest, the audio and the video are a bit delayed, so the best way to fix that is in my editing software, I can detach the audio from the video and just figure out a point in which like I shoot a shotgun or something and sync it up right when I shoot the shotgun and it should work pretty fine. If you did a sound cue and an in-game cue, you'll be able to sync the gameplay and the audio very easily. So if you hear yourself saying jump and you see yourself jump in game, you're going to want to put these together. Now just to recap what we've gone over, you're going to need your computer, you're going to need the cable, and you're going to need your quest set up with side quest on the computer, which there is a link in the description to do that. It isn't hard, it's just a few steps. And then after doing that, you want to change your Oculus to full screen 1080 using SideQuest and then record your audio with a separate method. Then you're going to want to transfer all your video and audio files to your computer using SideQuest and Android File Transporter if you need it, but you should just be able to transfer it right into your computer like you would anything else, like a jump drive or something like that, or USB drive. 
and it should work fine as long as SideQuest is open. And also to transfer your audio, in my case, I use my phone, so I would just airdrop to my Mac, but if you had a Windows and you wanted to do it with your phone, then I think plugging your phone right into your computer should be able to just transfer the files like that and it works fine. Now that you've gotten everything, then you can put the audio that you recorded and the video you recorded in sync together, and there you go. Then you just start editing it. Everything I use is free, so if you wanna be, if you wanna get like as many subscribers as I do and you don't have much technology, like you just have a Quest, you don't have a PC, you have a crappy computer, you have literally almost nothing, then that's where I started from and it's not impossible. So if you don't have much to your advantage, just use what you have and that's why I figured out this way and method on recording my Oculus Quest. Also, credit to a lot of other people who've made similar videos like this. Um, I did not take this idea from them. I actually Googled all this, figured this out before I even started Rec Room YouTube. Um, I just wanted to do VR, and so, yeah. But they did make videos like this before me, so that you want to see all their separate methods and ways they record, then just go to their videos in the description. But, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.